I was waiting for that. Like, I'm, I'm really <laughs> Can you do a sound? Audio? Uh, yeah, yeah bring me in first. I mean, let me hear it. Uh, just, just, good. No, the audio, the audio. I already did the mic. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, I got scared when I... Yeah, that was... No! No! Yeah, you ready? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm ready to let it be. Nah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Laughing at Curtis and Charlie, though. All these years later. You know, it's a year later, around the same time. Make it back over here. Mm-hmm. The number one show every Monday night on WVMR that will make a girlfriend go to bed happy. My name is Katie K. Happy birthday, Titan of Rap. Thank you, thank you. It's a 30 day celebration, so please send him money to that cash app. <laughs> Don't be a broke bitch. Don't be basic. <laughs> we take we take donations in Hennessy, weed, and money. And big booty bitches. Did I get it right? I'm on the wave. I'm with you, man. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Where's the next birthday party gonna be? What's today? Monday. The 13th. The 19th. That's this Sunday at Colony 274, Park Slope area, Brooklyn. And you got hip hop mic there, right? Yup, hip hop mic hosting. I'm performing. Rock and Family performing. Um, other artists will perform too, but that's gonna be the situation. It's gonna be a daytime though, 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. If you're not there, please go fuck yourself. But on that note, go over here to my left. Yeah, that's my left. I I, I know my size. Uh, we got the one, the only, Venture Clan in the building. Yeah, sure. You know, they came here yeah, to cause trouble. Always. Always. So this is how we're going to do it. You know how we always do it every time. It's your second time here. Mm-hmm. Not, not too bad, not too shabby. You know, I finally got my hat. Yeah, rocking with pride, right? Yo, but he be they be giving hats to other interviewers though, and I had to wait a <laughs> fucking year though. Think I didn't know? Uh, I crazy. heard that whole shit on there, bro. Uh, <laughs> you played me. It's okay though. I didn't have them in the car that day. Mm-hmm. That we're just gonna go. That is cool. But you asked for a hat today. You got it today. I mean, yeah. That turnaround is. Ooh, look at that turnaround. Yeah. A year, oh, <laughs> but you know, I gotta bother them. Extremely dope and talented people. But this is—we have a new segment now, mm-hmm. so we're gonna get to this new segment with you guys. So people randomly email me music. People that think they're hot, people that think they're not, and what we do, we play it. You guys give your critique. The man over there, even though he says he doesn't want to, he's gonna give his critique. Mm-hmm. Oh no, that's a little segment. I like that. You know, it's like a hot or not type thing. So we're gonna get to this track, right. even though I could not tag him for the life of me on any social media. His name is called China Man. Okay. And it's called Patik Filippi. Let's go. <laughs> I'm 
I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I'm I
the um, production of it, as far as the overall production, the sound and the engineering and things like that, that was on point. I admit that, you know, the way the, the, way the um, engineer, the mix and all that was, that was dope. How he used to be also was dope. You know, he didn't overdo it or underdo it. However, from a listener standpoint, it sounds too similar to other stuff that's going on. So initially, if I heard it, I would turn because it would be boring to me. Not what he's saying is bad, but it was just like, all right, I heard this before. I'm just changing this because I don't really care. Word. That's how I felt about it. I think that also tricks people into liking the song because it sounds like something you probably like already. Yeah, that's that's the bad trick though. That's yeah. the trick that doesn't work that people do. Like I can I can picture everything. Like I feel like when he's performing this, he got like his whole block on stage, so it looks mad lit. Right. Like not for nothing, designer could have did this, future could have did this. Mm -hmm. Um, any, any one of those uh, artists that has that type of sound could have did the song. So right. when you when you hear them the, the, the record, you visualize them in your head. So yeah, it might work in somebody's head. But for me, that turns it off because it's like, okay, why would I go support what you're doing when I can just go support what I already like because they doing the same thing anyway. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then what he's talking about is like, all right, like you said, is he Asian? Is he not Asian? Because Chinaman, you would think something would be Asian in there. Yeah. And then it's like, all right, it could be something about white because he's talking about, you know, illegal stuff. So mm -hmm. could, it, could it be that? That's the only curious factor, but I wouldn't have never gotten to that curious factor if I wasn't sitting here listening to the record because you played it because I would have already turned it. Yeah, yeah, I, I wouldn't have, like, if I saw, like, a clip of this, like, I wouldn't have, like, it. Like, it's not for me. I can't say that, you know, other people might not like it or whatever, but... I'm not saying it's whack. Yeah, it's not whack. Like, like I said, he, like, he agrees it's also, good, like, the, the yeah. quality is, is superb. Like, but it's everything you hear every day. Yeah, mm -hmm. it just has, like, the same kind of, you know... Like you, you can put it in a basket yeah. with future designer yeah. Travis Scott. You get that Mandela effect. Was like, nah, I heard this before. But on the on the, the flip side of it, got to play those advocate a little bit. If so, if a DJ is playing the mix, that's why I keep him. Mm -hmm. DJ is playing the mix that has that sound. He fit right in. Oh yeah, definitely. With no issue, definitely. and so he can get known like that. Everybody, like, oh, who's this? Is this such a? Oh nah, this is China man. Never heard of him. I like shit's lit. If you're in the right setting, yeah. But definitely. in the setting where you just listen to music and stuff, I'm like, yo, I don't, I don't. First of all, I don't even know who this is. It sounds like them, I don't want to hear it. That's my thought process. But it was still good quality though. It's not like it was bad quality. Nah, so if you listen, if you smoking a blunt, would you listen to it? Nah, this nah, isn't a smoke on a blunt song. I smoke, but I wouldn't smoke a blunt to this song, nah. And you probably got other songs meant to be smoked to. I felt like this was like, like, like I've said, like he got, if you go perform this, it's gonna be 30 dudes on stage, you know, everybody, all the, all the hood in the block on, on the set. Turning up, like it's one of those songs. I feel like. So, do I finally get to ask this question then? Why the fuck do you all do like half 30 people jump behind you and just what is the point of that? I mean, yo, it, it makes it look like the crowd is with you if you know you got that many people, you know, with you. But wouldn't you want the crowd in, in the front crowd. of you in yeah. the crowd? Watching your We've never had the 30 people on stage. I want to try it one time and see what the hype is about. Yeah, I definitely do. Like, it's just usually two, just two black guys. <laughs> two black guys and, and <laughs> two, two microphones. Mic two microphones. Just oh, like, pause, hey. pause. Alright, pause if applicable. Yeah. But that was a question to them? That was a question to everyone. Though. Oh, no, because I, I heard a pause, so I was like, wait, I looked well, up. I said like, pause I said nah, because said of the two mics two mics. Thing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, one girl. Do you have thirty people on stage and you perform? Never. See, I, I tell people to get off the stage. No, he pushes people. Like, like, oh, move, move. I'm like, yo, move. Move his energy. It's like, it could be a little bit of a distraction also sometimes though. You have all that people on stage, so it's just like, what's going on? Like, everybody. Yeah, now you gotta be stuff. more hyped than all thirty people on stage because yeah. everybody just looking at homie dancing in the back, like, yo. I feel like it's a monkey see monkey do effect. Mm -hmm. It's like, um artists coming in if you notice certain artists and clicks do that in the mainstream right when they come in they get it popping but then they slowly have the people go off the stage now they by themselves and they get it on but the people only take when they was popping mm -hmm. so when you flaming hot you got 30 people on stage the the, the people who make your music after you look at that so now they want to imitate oh they was late they was like you said the crowd is literally everything like that all right that's cool but when they got to that point slowly but surely these people got from off that stage with them and that was just the artist and they're hype man if they have one, and they're DJ if they have one. Mm -hmm. It's not 30 people because if in an underground scene, if you take the whole crowd on stage with you and there's nobody in the crowd, right. what does that do for your performance? Like, you lit for who? 
who's watching you because the people who would watch you was on stage. Like, I can understand if the guy brings the girls on stage. That's part of the set. That would be like... That's fine, though. Improv type thing. But I don't like seeing... Ther- I'm sorry. I really don't see the point of having 30 people on the stage jumping around looking like monkeys. Now, if... Pushing me. If they have a role, then that's different. Like, you know how you want them. this all? Like, yeah. Nah, you remember that time, that one black, that one black Blackstone event? You know which one I'm talking about. I had, like, that whole group of, like, 30 on one... It was a few times, but the last the one, one. Okay, I know you're talking about March, March 30th. Mm-hmm. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. It was a whole gang of people, but that one they were rotating. They, they all had a, they had a long set, mm-hmm. and they all was going behind each other. So when they were on stage, it's like, all right, my song is done. Boom, your song, then your song. So they had like a long set while they were on stage. But to the regular person that's looking, they're like, why everybody on stage? This look crazy because it's like 30 people on stage. Who's rapping? Right. Meanwhile, it was just like a segment of their artists. Going one at a time. So, like you said, they got a role, it's cool. But then they don't have a role, it's like, why y'all up there? Because they don't take away from the artist. And like you said, the artist don't have to out, be out in the jank. Like, yeah, right, like, right. <laughs> like, come on, it's too much. Yeah, that could be a lot. And then if you if you doing it like that, and it's like, all right, my song ends, there's no type of transition between the next song. It's just like you passing the mic to the next guy on stage. Right. It's just like, yo, so every performer's on stage at this one time, or is this one set? Like, what? Yeah, it gets real confusing. Watching. Yeah, it gets real confusing. But I could I could see that in this song, like you said. Oh yeah. With yeah. The, see I, could, the, I could see the video. I could see Benji film shooting this video. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now that we talk, we spoke about that, we did our little segment. We're gonna actually play one of your songs right now. Hey, hey. We can transition and talk more about you guys. So I'm gonna let you guys pick. You want to put the favorite song one or pressure? Uh, put the pressure on it. You, know? pre- you want the pressure on yeah. Okay, got gotcha. you. Put, put the pressure on us. Put the pressure on. So how about you put the pressure on yourselves and tell me about pressure and then introduce it for me. Oh, me? Okay. I mean, somebody would be nah, nice. I can't tell you about it. Nah, uh, <laughs> word of pressure is a song we wrote. It's basically about basically like the struggles of like being an artist in just everyday life. Like, you know, my like paying bills, trying to stay committed, not giving up on your dreams. Mm-hmm. All like life, death, working. That's it. The bitches, yeah. the money, the drugs, the guys. Yeah. Uh, I say a lot. Yeah, <laughs> like just, just everyday life stuff you can relate to. You know? People got family members in legal situations, and like you said, death, all kind of stuff. So it's like one of those songs you hear, and it's just like, I, right, you know, life's putting pressure on me, but I'm not going through it. Pressure make dumb. Okay, so introduce it for us. Alright, uh, this is straight off the new Venture Clan EP, We Good. Check it out! Available everywhere right now. All streaming services. And this is called Pressure. I turned it all the way up. Page in a rock chain. That's a sign that our dynasty different. So I'm sticking in the room, gotta talk to me different. Subtle life on white people try to offer me chicken. Subtle life when people tell me that I didn't get permission. Not facing people tell me they don't fuck with my vision. Uh, nine to five, better sleep in the eight eye. Boss taking credit for the work like it ain't nice. Possible the house still breaking like the place size. Bank took the mortgage when he died, so it ain't nice. But, but, what we supposed to live now? Nah. Pretty tripping, so I'm living with my bitch now. Nah. Say she love me and she try to have a kid now nah. Pay the rent, ain't no fill up in the fridge now nah. Uh, and I'ma still book a session Started tour on the air, came back on the seven Had a gig on the night, got paid to your love them Niggas stop me on the street like, hey, wait a second Keep working, see you doing your thing, thing But trying to make a milli since we make blink, blink Champagne glass, and we toast the clink, clink Black supermodel, short hair with beast stacks And stay grounded cause it's fucking okay, fat Made me get it off the mud in the front game and- Devil in the rim, nothing do. What's a nigga gonna do? We the reaching for the clouds, though we wishing on the star. Talking about the temptress, dirty days, the devil in the 
in the kitchen. Pat Slate to cook at Thanksgiving, I'll be playing for Guinness. Cause I'm about to wreck her in a minute, put my sex game down in the Guinness. Talking about a record, that's a rap of one artist. Talking about the longest, talking about the hardest. Tell me you can take it, look at you like you're retarded. Get to talk about my mama, hey, don't talk about my mama. What you talking about, a boss? You talking about a man? Make sure every mouth in this house get fat. Make sure every hand in this house touch bread. Make sure every brain in this house gets a head. In the feds, you looking at life, got another going in. You about to do it again, it's a sad fact. For every other feet in the right pack, I have to get this like a backpack. If I was gonna give a round of applause, you can make sure that you clap back. And I know every nigga don't get that. Kids don't understand what's a setback. Learn a note, make sure ain't no favors. Tell them pick your boys in any flavor. Bring it on a platter like the cater. Really doesn't matter, quit debating. Going in a larger situation. Hope you're not in coming for my pants. Temptress, what my mama say. She got that itchy, itchy, I, I let her mama lay. She be calling, calling, calling me oh, every day. And I'm just out here with my niggas trying to find a way. Cause my mama got bills, my crib need lights, man. I'm trying to get a deal. And my niggas need jobs, my mama go to work all day through the night. Some niggas gon' steal, some niggas get robbed. My shorty want shoes, that baby need milk, spit change on the bus, still sipping for a car in the rim. What's a nigga gonna do? Either reach up for the clouds or be wishing on the star. Whoa. And we are back. My bad. My iTunes has a whole mind of its own. Technology. That's, I, that's, that's an Apple for you. You need, to go, to, you need to go to Android. You need to go to Google. Free world, free market, free access to internet. See, first of all, internet is not always free. Google. Don't you pay for your service, your Wi-Fi services? Nah, they actually give out Wi-Fi in the too, man. Yes, but are you at home with free Wi-Fi? Uh, no. Okay, do you pay for your Wi-Fi? Yeah. Therefore, internet's not free. Can you download songs of YouTube on your phone? I can do it off my computer. That's not right. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I can Plus, choose to do that too, because don't you have to pay to do that? Off YouTube? No, 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 no. I could just open up right two tabs on my internet browser and just download music that, straight from the internet. That new YouTube subscription? Nah, no. Just go to YouTube on my browser, not on my app. They just open up a new tab for random. Copy the URL. Yep. Just hit the download button. All of this when I'm listening play to music. Play my music, but I have enough. And doing, you know, who knows what, writing songs and stuff. When you said who knows what, you scared me a minute. Yeah, that's why I had to throw that in there. That little pause. For everybody else whose imagination was scaring them. I was like, (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, listen, we're not reliving the last time you guys were here scaring the shit out of me and everything. (laughs) But, as we can tell, a lot has changed in a year. Yeah. I mean, not that much. I mean, what happened? I'm missing one. Oh, we, sh- we shoot an anime and, you know, it's not a season. <laughs> <laughs> you watch Attack on Titan? <laughs> Since season I watch three, it, I was like, really? You get used to a character and then it's no longer on the show. Okay. Yeah. Do you guys still talk at least? Or it's like a... No, um, we don't. I mean, I, we only do this at work, <laughs> so yeah. if you're not yeah. at work or this, then we probably won't see each other. We only really talk about music, so if you're not... That'd be weird talking to you about something that you're not doing. I mean, but if someone still likes music, would you still talk to them? I mean, I mean, I talk to people who like music, but the only thing I'm really talking about is like, okay, you're doing something music related. I'm interested in what you're doing. I'm not really interested. It doesn't make sense when you talk to you about what we're doing. Okay, that does make sense. Right. And that's like somebody quits, like you got a coworker and they quit, but they always want to know what's going on at the job. Just stay at the job. Mm-hmm. Then we can get paid enough at the job. Hey man, listen. And that's just assuming that the, you know, paid the other person wants to talk. So mm-hmm. you can't just assume they want to talk. Would you play a new EP? Yeah. We good out right now? That's fine. Right. That's you know, we good. That's where the EP stems from. That is not where the EP stems from. We just we're good. We didn't drop a project in a year. We didn't do like more, a lot of stuff. We was doing a lot of other stuff so like people wanted to know where's the music you know like, like everything all right you've been hiding for a while yeah. now we've been like doing like videos shows like promoting and basically work yeah building 
like this new project. Yeah. Keep Playing up at Benjaminia too. That was just what last Saturday. I know because you guys tend to do shit when I'm not able to make it. It's not. I thought you have a busy schedule. Yeah, yeah. Well, everyone's I, busy, you know. I blame them. I blame them with all the events. Oh, that was his birthday party? That was his birthday well, party. Well, his birthday party is going on for a month, so, like, that's a lot of birthdays. Yeah, well, this was also the birthday party that my client was performing in. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So the manager role had to go there. Ah, I feel uh-huh. you. Uh-huh. So, yeah, obligations, I yeah. hear it. Corey knows about that life, you know? Yeah. Wherever yeah. you yeah. go, she gotta go, technically. Yeah, where? Shout out, shout out C. Dot. Yeah. Auntie C. Dot. <laughs> She's gonna get that on the shirt or jacket. Okay. So tell me more about the CP. Ah, uh, man, like, we've been working on this project for a while now and um, you know we our process when we go into making a project it's like all right well we'll record we'll write some music together but a lot of sometimes our music gets written separately and then we bring it to each other and then yeah. it's like all right well I can add to this so maybe we should put this here or tweak this down there so with this project it was just a lot of perspectives coming together to form a cohesive sound that is not too different from our first project but different enough for where it stands on its own and it's not like a continuation or a follow-up or a sequel to our to our album it's a it's its own entity i mean i see that your sound has matured a lot from the last time mm-hmm. you guys were here because i mean the last song i heard was the one about the hotel room and yeah yeah, yeah. You know, I don't see you guys really jumping off beds, like, in hotels and all that. I mean, it was fun. Yeah, it was like a different moment. It was a moment. That was, like, where we was at in that moment. But, like, it's a crazy thing we do. Like, we we try not to, like, date our songs. So it's like, uh, I don't know if you heard Reach, like, it's the last song in the project. Mm -hmm. That song's been, like, sitting in my computer since, like, 2015. So in, in, all together, it took about a few years to put this project together well i didn't have a plan to put songs like we have like a stockpile of songs yeah but then we're also still creating songs so it's just like we might get the first song and it kind of gives us a feel of like the direction we're trying to go in or we might think of a name yeah. or what we're trying to present to people right now right and then the songs kind of just build themselves from there from stuff that we already have in our catalog or new stuff that we're coming up with at the moment right What are you planning to do? Like, are you going to record singles, uh, videos for the singles? Oh, yeah, we got it. Doing for the next, because I guess six months, where do you see yourself doing with the project over the next six months? We got a whole uh, slew of things coming up. We got uh, about three videos for sure. We're trying to get shot by the end of this year. Not necessarily all at the same time, but. There's three songs we know, like, all right, we have to do visuals for that. We have to do visuals for that. Yeah, and we got, like, treatments for most of the other songs, too. Awesome. We're going to be pushing this project, you know, well into next year. And we already got our solo projects done, so it's like, there's no rush on that. Oh, yeah, Fancy got solo projects, too? Yeah, Yeah, we do solo projects. And we got, like, extra throwaway songs. We got, there's tons of content. Solo projects, we got, like, a freestyle project. We got, like, unreleased videos. Yeah, all that stuff. So how do you choose what to put on, what not to? Meetings. Yeah. Lots and lots of meetings. See, I feel like a lot of people go into, you know, music only thinking about music. Like, it helps to have a background in working in an organized organization, you know, so you can structure things, plan things, prepare for things. So it's not like you're just going up stage drunk and high trying to perform looking yeah. looking crazy listen it was my birthday i'm sorry <laughs> you know so yeah. we got a whole layout and rollout of things and we have meetings on meetings and meetings like you would think like that was our our hobby like our thing yeah, like, yeah we don't rap we host meetings yeah like do you guys like, do the suits and everything nah nah our, our meetings are like come as you are yeah we just like don't smoke before don't smoke a drink before him. yeah like you know, a lot of dead weight showed us that we couldn't have that kind of thing going on. Like, this is a meeting. This is our business. Like, come as you were going to work. If you was going to your nine to five, or you, well, some people go to their nine to five drunk and high. And if you're doing that, yo, live your best life, but don't come in our job <laughs> drunk and high. That's how you. That's how you lose the job. 
or don't do the job and then not to make you lose the job. And so. No, of course, and that's understandable. Like, I've done it a couple of times. No, I shouldn't be. <laughs> it's not it. There's people that have done it a couple of times, mm -hmm. and they and I've seen them be completely functional. I mean, See, that's works. the thing, like, you know, if you could be completely functional, that's fine. But the issue we're having is, you know, some people weren't able to be functional. Where it's like, okay, now this is a hindrance because now I have to, like, keep trying to get you to focus for 30 minutes yeah. as you're falling asleep and telling me how hungry you are. And you can imagine, you know, being in a meeting and, you know, say someone is high or whatever. And it's not a big deal. Like you said, if you can still function, you can still be coherent and, you know, contribute to what we're doing. And it's like, all right, well, this guy's acting silly he's not being focused all right no one can get high so the guy who gets high and can function and work and do everything right is at the meeting like oh well damn that sucks like i can get high and talk and articulate and you know understand what's going on and contribute but this guy shows up so like that kind of stuff plays on but it's an organization so if one guy fucks up everybody looks crazy so if one chain is weak the whole link breaks yeah. I see that's interesting that you say that, especially because like I do a lot of consulting and work outside of this, and I see a lot of people who think, like I can pers personally say, I've now learned to be on the radio and be a little buzz, mm -hmm. but six months ago, I had a brownie and was tripping as if I was being followed. See, so I you know so it is also type of thing would you perform while being high have i done it would you do it mm. like do you feel like it affects your productivity in that sense no but personally for me it's like i i'm about to perform i want to i want to be at my and be alert yeah i want to be at my best i want to be able to think quick on my feet you know I, what, what if what if the music stops and i'm paused for like four minutes and i'm just standing there if i'm high as hell i'm not going to be able to think quickly enough to keep the crowd engaged so where it's like all right well they fixed the problem in the back i got the crowd they still got they still laughing they're still joking I'm still entertaining, you know. I've seen people high, you know, the music stops or we waiting to switch songs and it's just quiet. It's just the crowd looking at them, them looking at the crowd, waiting for the DJ to put the song on. Like, you don't ever want to be stuck like that. So I don't ever get stuck like that with my smoke, you know, but it's just like that thought, you know, I want to be my best self at this moment. You know, so I usually don't do that. I mean, I'm trying to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I try to ask different questions, especially if you're coming the second time I'm up, because it's like, okay, we spoke about where you guys came from, yada yada yada, same old bullshit yada. questions you don't want to hear again. So here's my question to you, do you feel like other people have to compete with you because your sound is so different, especially this time around? I think everybody should compete with everybody. I'm from the school of Kobe Bryant. <laughs> <laughs> Be more, break more records. Right? But I think that's like how you get better. Like there's other people that, you know, they have like creative songs that sounds like them, like they kind of have like their, it's the term, like their own lane going on. So like when I hear that, I don't think of like trying to emulate what they're doing. I try to do what we're doing and I try to think of a way to make people more receptive to what we're doing. Or if I hear people, you know, like if I hear like, a, like there was a period in time when I first started, like I had shitty ass mixes. But then I would hear clearer songs and I'd be like, all right, like, I got to get my shit together. Yeah. So that way I can be in conversation with people while I have to perform somewhere and I don't want to be the guy. Like, like, everybody was cool except that one guy. You don't ever want to be that you one guy. You never want to be that one guy. <laughs> you know? So you're looking around, so you're going to do it. So, someone brought it up and I normally ask this question anyway. So, if you guys weren't artist, what would you be doing? Who is Av and who is both any different unions? Of, of the world. You can call me Mark. Okay, so Av and Mark. I'm coming about the world. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm coming about the world. I'm not allowed to say that. I think someone's bringing the Wakanda bill. Uh, <laughs> I just did the Wakanda salute for the people that it's from Wakanda. But, um... So shout out to Camp Wakanda. Or... <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Pottery? <laughs> the Pottery Tribe! Tell me about Venture Ah oh, man, Venture Mania. Yeah, two. It was I mean, season two. Uh, season we, one. We well, I wasn't invited to season one. Those. Now you were definitely invited to season one. Yeah. I don't think that. I knew you guys in season one with you. Mm. Uh, I'm pretty sure you did. No, we did. Yeah, it was, in, it was in August last year. I'm pretty sure we came here before that. But oh no, we came here in August, but Venture Mania was in July last year. Ah. See, if we didn't know you, you'd have been invited. That's a bad. That's a bad. But you know. Now, Mania 3, you're the first invite. Perfect. So, for Venture Mania, it's a event we throw. We try to do it every year. We do throw it every year. And um, it just gets bigger and bigger. So, it's a networking event. We have vendors there also. Then we have live performances. And, and a photo booth. And a photo booth. Yeah, also. So, you know, our vendors range from, you know, all over the tri-state area. But we try to keep it in the city, though. But um, we have performances from all over the from all over the area, so it's always dope to see that. Okay. So you didn't answer my question before this. Wait, um, was if there was no venture crown, what would you guys be doing? There was no music. Well, well we actually own a t-shirt business. Yeah, so we'd probably just be running a business, mm-hmm. making a throw. And I have a podcast called Can I Kick It? Also, I'm getting an invite to that too, right? Yeah, we're gonna talk. I got a lot of content. I'm gonna be around for. I, I like to talk shit if you can tell. <laughs> I'll probably be doing that. Uh, yeah. What was the thing about doing consulting? I got a lot of ideas and like. We wanna put the money back. Yeah, so I'm just trying to figure out, you know, how can I charge for my ideas? Cause I have like good ideas on the spot. So if you wanted consulting services, call one eight hundred. Help a bro. Hit yeah. me up at Venture Clan, you know, let me know what you need. I, I think quick. So before we introduce your song, mm-hmm. thank you for coming guys. Of course. Of course. We love coming here. You know, you're welcome to trail. Not a hot night tonight, so we you know, we got a nice couch. Yeah. 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 Uh, you can find us everywhere at Venture Clan. That's V E N T U R E K L A N. Including Porno. Alright. Mm, I'm not going to respond to your crazy energy with my call <laughs> energy right now. Nah. Uh, but, uh. <laughs> I'm going to catch somebody with the one there. You can you know, hit up the website, VentureClan.com. We're on all social platforms. You can find us on Spotify, Apple Music, Title. Whatever else is out there that people listen to music on. It's a fact. Uh, www.VentureClan.com. Check out the YouTube. We got some new content coming. Got a couple videos out there. That's a fact. Um, yeah. Go, go download that EP. We good. We good. We good. So now tell us about favorite song. Uh, favorite song was the... It's actually the last song we made for the project. Because we just felt like it was missing something. And I was like, now nah, we need that female record. But I didn't want to make like a whole super love song. Yeah, see, we, we, we got a little... Co- well, not complaints, but it was just like, you know... The music we made music about women, but we never made like music for, for women. women. So it was just like, like this is specifically right. We for you. put this and together. We have a, a beautiful woman outside, so we can see you fit four women. Oh, it's yeah, four women. Nice. We put it to the test, and it works. So introduce it for us. <laughs> this is favorite song off of the Bitch Clan EP. We good. Shout out to. Uh, Cousin K West, Chantel, the fame god, you know, they helped us out with some vocals on this track. Sure did, sure did, they did uh, wonderfully. Right, it's a great song, you know, play it at your next function. Ladies, you're welcome. Ladies, if you want your inspiration, pass them your bag, turn up, get ready to twerk. You know. <laughs> Here we go. It's a great time.